Hi, my name is Johnny Dutra, and in August of 2012, I was diagnosed with stage 4 liver cancer, inoperable. You can imagine what ran through my mind. My first thought, uh, naturally, was my family. And then my prayers and my thought was to overcome this deadly disease. As I thought, for the first time in my life, I was fortunate in my lifetime to help other people. But at this point in my life, and having this news, um, I was lost. I didn't know where to turn, where to go for answers. Luckily, I met with friends and several times, and there were six to eight friends that I met with in the course of a week. And the name of Marasco and Elsa Bush came up uh, to my friends. And um, they suggested to get peace of mind and to answer some of the questions they had, just give them a call. And I did. Uh, at that point, they took some basic information from me, and uh, it, the conversation over the phone was just, uh, again, basic information, and they set up an appointment. At that time, I met with Mary Ellen, who was a legal assistant here at Morasco and Nesselbush. Uh, very qualified, very professional. My wife and I sat down in her office, and her first was concern was my health. Uh, after we had brief discussions, uh, she wanted to know what my questions were, uh, what my fears were, uh, how I felt. Uh, after sitting down, explaining to her how, like most people, you work hard all your life and something like this comes up and you wonder who to talk to, what to see, she made me feel right at home. Um, after spending 10 minutes with Mary Ellen, filling out some brief forms, she assured me that I don't have to worry about any forms being filled out, that not only did she tell me form-wise what was going to be done for me, she also gave me a timeline so I could put it into my, my own life. Uh, as we all know, many of us live week to week, day to day, so that was important to me. Uh, about two weeks later, I, was in, I had another call from Morasco and Nussel Bush to meet Miriam Lavoie, who was my attorney handling the case. And that little bundle of joy brought me into her office and uh, sat me down and went through my whole case. And again, very personal, asked me how I was feeling and explained to me, uh, again, what they've done up to this point, where they're going with my particular disability social security, and kind of gave me a timeline uh, of when I can expect a decision. And um, so when I left here uh, that particular day and I walked out the door, it kind of like felt like going, leaving my mom's house after a good meal. It was uh, very satisfying. Uh, my wife uh, was having a hard time, uh, felt relieved. And um, we felt as though we could put all our effort into trying to get me well. Um, after that meeting, I, I left that day, and it was, I believe, the third week of October. I had gotten home, and I was sifting through the mail, and there was a letter from Social Security Disability. And I opened it up, and sure enough, uh, was a decision from Social Security that very day. So I called Mary and told her that, gee, that was quick, because I had just gotten home, and uh, uh, they approved my uh, disability claim to Social Security and I wanted to thank her naturally. So with that, um, she did set up another appointment to give me some more guidelines and timelines when I can expect a check and what else to expect and what my rights are as far as going to Medicare and everything else. So uh, it was quite a pleasant phone call. Uh, as of now, um, I'm pleased to tell you and everybody else, the whole world as a matter of fact, that um, not only was I approved my disability claim, uh, but also I'm one of my battle with cancer. So, um, from me to you, uh, if you feel as though you're lost for an answer, if you have a question on personal injury or disability social security or any questions like that, please give your mind a break, have peace of mind, give Marasco and Esther Bush a call. You'll be glad you did.